case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the early 90s, the Pennsylvania Bankruptcy Court heard a contentious dispute involving a property development project known as Hunter's Station. At the center of the dispute were a group known as the Mealy Parties, who claimed a mechanic's lien over the Century National Bank and trust company's mortgage on the property. The crux of the litigation hinged on the Mealy Party's assertion that they had carried out excavation and construction work on the site. The bank, however, contended that Mealy's mechanic's lien claim was invalid and that their mortgage should be given priority. They insisted that the Mealy Parties failed to observe various legal requirements, including proper notice of the claim, and suggested that the underlying contract was an unenforceable verbal agreement. The situation further complicated when, after ceasing their work, the Mealy Parties issued a hefty bill for $224,696.55 and succeeded in securing partial payment. This led to the bank contending that the Mealy's lien claim should be classified as for alterations and repairs, rather than for new construction. The court was tasked with adjudicating on several factors, whether Mealy's claim complied with the requirements of the Pennsylvania Mechanics Lien Law, whether they accurately identified the work performed, their charging rates, and whether their lien claim extended to neighboring land parcels. The court's eventual ruling favored the Mealy parties. Their claim was deemed valid for the new construction and lienable grading and excavation work they undertook in three specific parcels of the Hunter's Station project. More significantly, it was ruled that Mealy's claim would take priority over the bank's mortgage, but only as of the date visible work commenced on the three said properties. The court remained in session, as it mandated a provisional order that required both parties to concur on an adjustment amount within 30 days, failing which, another hearing would ensue. As an interim order issued, the decision stands unappealable until the matter's final resolution. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind, leave the stress of class.